Hello, my name is Michael Evans. I'm Blair X. And I'm with a children. Richard Hoey is not here today, so unfortunately. But today we're going to be playing Little Cthulhu. It's a press your luck game in which uh, we are cultists uh, set to the task of babysitting a little Cthulhu. Uh, we are trying to uh, pacify little Cthulhu by, or satisfy little Cthulhu by making, he ripped his toys in half and we're trying to fix his favorite ones, which are the Deadly Bear, the Death Rattle, and the Spirit Drum. The Spirit Drum. Now, there, was, there are six cards you can, you can get, those are, that are cho they're chosen randomly. There's also the Necronomic Coloring Book. There is the... Rocking Horrors. The Rocking Horrors. And... Bone Blocks. And the Bone Blocks. So we have the, the Deadly Bears, the, bo the, the Death... The de we have the Deadly Bears, the Death Rattle, and the Spirit Drum. That we are trying to collect for them. We collect by drawing from his toy box, going a little mad each time. The winner is the person who gets to collect all three um, first, or the last same person left. Yes. So Richard Shilton, uh, is going, Richard Shilton is first player, so he's going to draw. So I pay a Sandy token, and I put on mine the new tool expression. So I'm just fucking over to him crying as the. That could be by lock that could be drawing yes. a tantrum. So, I have this half of the spirit drum. Okay, the top half of the spirit drum. Now he can either take that or he can keep drawing. I will draw another card at least. And we have. Nuh uh. Play this card as soon as any player plays the black dark toy card. That player places that card directly into the discard pile without gaining its effect. Just like they never played it at all. So with the three different types of cards, I've gotten the regular type of card, the black toy card. Next one will be the tantrum card, I betcha. Let's see. No. Oh yeah, the bottom half of the uh, drum. So I will stop drawing now. I will now begin making offerings. If I draw a tantrum card as I was pressing my luck, that would have ended my turn. So. I will make an offering to Cthulhu. The top half, the bottom half of his drum. I now get three Sandy tokens. Yay! And I get to flip the top card if I want to. And it is a not a, uh, and I will keep this again. So apparently all cards are public knowledge. And that's the end of my turn. So I will play Sandy, I will draw a card. I thought, my little monster, not everything pink is cute and adorable. This one is mean and steals things. Play this card to take a random card from any cultist's hand and put it into yours. It's your card now. Discard this card. I am going to press my luck. Draw another one. Ooh, I got the super insane, super insanity mirror. This mirror is super shiny. Look like it can do more than show your ugly face. Once, it's been uh, once it has been decided that you will lose Sandy, you can play this card and lose no Sandy. Instead, you reflect that Sandy loss onto another uh, cultist. If this causes that effect to happen twice on them, to them good. Okay, so basically, if you get if they lose a, if they're losing a Sandy and then this causes them to lose another Sandy, ha! Ah, tough on them. That's probably caused by a tantrum. Yeah. Are you gonna press your luck again? I'm gonna press my luck again. I got the uh, building, uh, build and knock it down. Little Cthulhu wants to build something with with his uh, bone blocks. All cultists must discard. Oh, this is a tantrum. Okay. So, okay. so it's red. All the uh, cards you've drawn now go into the discard deck. So these go into the discard deck. And starting with you. Now all cultists discard either the top or the bottom card of the bone, of the bone block, or lose one sanity. The cultist has a complete bone block offering on the table. They do not need to do anything. So nobody, so nobody has uh, the complete so one. So every, I have a the, oh, the bone block. Bone not block. Yeah. So starting with you, discard. So I lose the sanity. Mm -hmm. You lose the sanity. And I can't say not to that. So I lose. And the if sanity. I had, if I didn't draw that tantrum card, 
I, and I had that sanity mirror, I could say, no, I don't want to lose it. How what? And Player X would have lost it because uh, although Richard Shilton has cards to stop it. Yeah. So now it, that is my go. I got nothing out of it because I pushed my luck too far. Now, you don't have to play the uh, Player X. You have to play the uh, sanity until you flip your card. Because it could be a tantrum. It is not. So pay your sanity. You have the sanity. So you have the bottom. If you want, you can stop now or press your luck. I press my luck. Oh, you have both that. Okay. You're going to stop there? So you're going to press your luck? Or you're going to press the luck and so possibly lose it? Stop there. Mm -hmm. Gain and see then. Gain three sanity. Gain three sanity. And the top card. And the top card. And the top card. Stands. If you choose to, yeah. The sound of bones scraping on stone floor in the morning. Rocking horrors bottom. So is that one of your cards in your hand? You have a maximum five. Yeah. So I will flip a card. It is the walking horse. I will press my luck. No, uh huh. Boy, there's a lot of those. I will press my luck. The um, hot rod. I will stop here. Leaving me with exactly five cards. So, my first card is the rubber scrying ball. Look into the future or play dodgeball. A real, a really mean game of dodgeball. Play this card before drawing your next toy box card. Look at the top card and choose to keep it or shuffle it into the deck and draw the next card. Discard this card after use. I am. I did. Yeah, I did not. My sanity. Yes. Yes. Two, four, six, eight. Ten. Yes, and you've lost three. So you're pressing your luck? I'm going to press my luck. And I have the bone blocks top. Mm -hmm. I'm going to press my luck again. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got the top of the death rattle. I am going to stop there. Okay. For that, can I press your luck? Yes. Press my luck. Teddy bear bottom. Ah, uh, yeah. No. They'll go one more. Yeah. Ooh, the other half. Of Actually, you're gonna go a bit more than that. So what does that do? That says he keeps going until he gets a tantrum. I feel bad for all of us now. Play yeah, this, you know. Play this at any time during another cultist's turn. This may continue to draw. They they must continue to draw from the toy box until they get a tantrum card. The tantrum affects only them, and they lose all of the cards that they drew. Yes. So it does not. Okay, so it's not bad for us. No, it's not. Okay. And so the reason I chose tantrum. The only reason I targeted him was he has more sanity than you do. The reason I'm going to be targeting them rather than you is because you have a lot of cancel cards. <laughs> Can you play half of a toy? No. Okay. So all cultists, so only me because yep. of that card, mm -hmm. must discard either top or bottom of the spirit drum or lose one sanity. You can't discard that because they've been played. Yeah, that's a, once, a, once a full yeah. set has been played, mm -hmm. what is this? Uh, if a cultist has completed a spirit drum offering on the table, they do not need to do anything other than discard these. So, since you, you pay to keep reading. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, but He's not. <laughs> no, I am. Okay, that's bottom half of a teddy bear. Oh. For it. Might start you start targeting him just to use up his, his can't, uh, do, can't touch my I got booty. Yes, you did. Oh, this is a special tantrum card. No, you fed the baby. You feed the baby. Look at the dude who's hungry now. Someone needs to feed him. Like now. I can either lose two can of sanity and steal a card of anybody's hand, or everybody loses sanity and I end my turn now. Well, 
I will take it. Losing two sanities. And you have cards. Give me one. Do I choose? Or? No. Um, I steal a card from your hand. I assume that's at random. So. I lost three sanity that turn. No, it says maximum hand size five. So yeah. Yes. I'm now at five. I'm going to go scrolling. I'm going to look at the top cards and whether I want to take it or not. You know what? I think I'm just going to shuffle it in. Yep. This was a tantrum? No, but it's not anything useful either. But a lot of same cards seem to be coming up, so I want to shuffle a bit more anyway. Yep. Okay, so I got this half of a uh, coloring book. Mm-hmm. Rushing luck? Unfortunately. <clears throat> Shake. Shake, shake, shake it. Little Cthulhu wants to hear the lovely sound of his death rattle. All cultists must discard either the top or bottom card of the death rattle or lose one sanity. If a cultist has a complete death rattle offering on the table, they do not need to do anything. Uh, so do, I want, with you? do I want to lose a sanity? Or... Did I pay the sanity for my... Well, yes, you did. Okay. I'm going to keep this one and... I'm gonna keep my half of the death rattle and. I will lose a sanity. That's why. Okay, wait. Alright. Sanity ready. Mm -hmm. I don't need to spend the sanity. Oh, a tantrum. You are talking too long. Little Cthulhu starts to scream really, really loud. Really big tantrum. Temper tantrum. Mm -hmm. Take it. You lose two sanity. You may draw another card without paying sanity. Discard and ignore any tantrum card. Or share it. All cultists lose one sanity and end your turn now. No. I think I'll pay two sanity. Flip a card and take it? Yep. Discard and ignore any tantrum card. So I think that means you just keep drawing, right? So no, he just, he just gets one card. Which is the tantrum card. Yeah, well, it's the card and ignore, that's what okay. I was wondering. Yeah. Okay, I haven't realized that yet. What you do is a tantrum. Okay, so... So it's, it, this means ignore the card. Oh, fuck. You save your sanity, except for the fact that you're going to probably lose sanity because of the tantrum. Don't destroy his now, give me now. For every offering... Okay, everyone loses two sanity. However, for each offering you have, it's one less. So I lose one, he loses two, you lose. I have a feeling I'm going to be the mad one out. Yes. Okay. Bone blocks bottom. You know what? I'm going to stay there. Okay. Alright. Ready? Dark skull nuts. Evilly fashionable and blocks all sound from getting to your sensitive ears. Play this card at the end of your turn and uh, until the beginning of your next turn, tantrum cards have no effect on you. Alright, so I'll push my pay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pay and if you push have my luck. Uh, the spirit drum top. With these, you can beat the life out of drums. Yeah, drums. I'll push it. Sound of bones scraping on stone for one wine. I think I'll stay there. Yeah. You're not going to play your card to protect yourself from tantrums? Or is the ones that Richard Shelton and I are going to get? There we go. We'll just put it beside I, I was going to put it in front of you right. until the end of your next turn. Mm -hmm. so the beginning of your next turn. So, I put this card. Oh, it is not a tantrum. And it is the death rattle. Did you pay your sanity? I do now pay my sanity. I decide to pay. I now press my luck. I now stop. Go on. So what was that last card? Oh, it allows you to search through the discard pile and take any card you want and replace it and discard this card. Nice. That is, uh, okay. Which I will now use. Ooh, top of Ah, uh, no, it's oh. still my turn. Oh, sorry, I thought you said go. No, I didn't. So, I play this. Bottom. Hopefully you see. 
I got a sneaky suspicion. I played that at the wrong time. Not from our point of view. Mm -hmm. Well, I will take back... I will take this card. And... You, you have, have two show cards? Or? I'm playing it now. Okay. Um, you have two cards, you have three cards. I take one of your three cards. I have the... Walking horse part. <laughs> so at the bottom of the top. Oh wait, the walking horse bottom and the walking horse top. So you get two sanity? I get three sanity. Oh sorry, oh, no, that's not one of the two. That's only two. <clears throat> and so we can bonus this for that. Um, these now go in the discard deck. Because I don't need to keep track of the fact that they're up there. And that's all I can do. I mean, and I'm down to five cards again. Okay, I have the top half of the, uh, the Daddy Bear. Daddy Bear affects bad little kids and terrifies good little uh, good little ones. Excuse me. Oh. The little consumer wants to hear the lovely sound of a death is death rattle. Occult is once discard either the top or the bottom of the death rattle or lose one sandy. If a cultist has a completed death rattle offering on the table, they do not need to do anything. Okay. So I just card half the death rattle. That's do I. Good thing I got my skull mutts on. So yep. told ya. It's now your turn, so you now discard your turn. that. Now your turn, discard that. I'm going a little mad here. We all get a little mad sometimes. No, you fed the baby. No, you feed the baby. Little Cthulhu's hungry, so one needs to feed him, like now. Take it, lose two sanity, steal a card out of any cultist's hand, or share it. All cultists lose one sanity, and end your turn now. And that's not a toy, he stops toys. Yes. And okay, I will lose two sanity, and take a card from your hand. Okay. I think I know what you got. Now you continue the rest of your turn. Do you have, can you make an offering to Cthulhu? I cannot make an offering to the Cthulhu. So How many cards do you have? Four. No, wait, three. three. Right. Yes. As do I. One, two, five. Three, Lord. Uh -huh. three. <coughs> Another one? Yes. Half the coloring book. Oh. I will take one more. Okay, I lost those two cards. However, I don't get affected by this. All cards must either score as the top or bottom of the spirit drum or lose one sanity. If you already have the spirit drum out, like the two of us, we ignore this. Yay. One third of your remaining sanity. I don't have to pay a sanity for this. Good. Call of Little Cthulhu. His will is scrambling your already screwed up brains. All cultists are compelled to discard all cards in their hand. Cults, cultists can discard all or some of their cards. For every card they keep, uh, keep of their hand, they lose one sanity. I may as well get rid of this one since I don't know. Uh, useful. We'll keep one card. I will keep one card as well. I'm guessing the uh. One of the two uh uh. Yes. Well, at least I keep my sanity. Yep. Yes. Alright. I'm not doing well. <laughs> You're not doing bad compared to us, though. Compared to you, I am doing bad. I have no offerings and only three sanity left. Bone block top. Exactly what are you going to do on this altar once you're done building it? I'm going to risk it. Super sanity snuggly. Oh, so warm and cozy. Wrapped in this, you can, can ignore the world. Ignore any one tantrum card that affects all cultists, or any one card that affects only you, just like it never happened. And you get to choose when you play that. I'm going to risk it. One more. Tantrum, 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 tantrum. Death Rattle Bottom. It's a really good, nice handle. Great for hitting things. Okay. 
so. Are you making any offerings? I do not have an offering to make. The dark muncher, the best fight. Oh, he thinks he's going to whine. Take this and shove it. <laughs> that will shut him up. Play this as soon as a red tantrum card is drawn. Place the tantrum card in a discard effect and all code is ignores effects. Discard any draw that will draw on this turn. That is so good. I will pay and just keep it and stop now. Ooh, the uh, top of the rocking horse. I'm gonna push my luck. Mm -hmm. Bottom of the daddy bear. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna push my luck. Ooh, the <clears throat> Oscars Om Omnibus Ocular. With this monocle, with this maniacal monocle, you can see into the future and then affect it. At the end of your turn, take a look at the top six cards of the top six toy box cards and place them individually anywhere in the deck you would like. Bottom, top, or middle. Have fun. I'm going to stop there. Okay. Are you going to play that card now? No. Okay. Are you going to make any matches? Uh, with the cards that don't match, no. Oh, so in the tantrum. So lifelike. You can almost hear the little people scream. Necronomicon book, right side. See, Dick, run. See, Dick, not run fast enough to get away from the tentacles. <laughs> oh. What does this say? Little Cthulhu is, is staring at you, and it's messing with your mind. Ooh, this is not a take it or leave it. Take all cultists' hands and mix them together. Redeal out the cards. No. Okay. Wait a second, what exactly does this do? Play this as soon as the red tantrum card is, is drawn. Place the tantrum card into the discard pile and all cultists ignore any of his effects. Discard any cards that were drawn this turn. Oh. So. We don't, we don't have to worry about losing cards that we want to keep, though. That's a good thing. Mm. So, that ends the turn. Yeah. Still. So, I flip. I'm I don't have to pay. Yay. What's that sm The stinky sandy bomb? What's the smell? It looks like little cultists have left you little presents. Take it. Change the diaper and lose two sanity. All the players must randomly discard one card from their hand. Or, everyone loses one sanity and the turn ends now. Um, so, I lose two sanity. Or one sanity. I'm going to lose one sanity. We all lose one. We all lose one sanity. Yay! Unless you want have something you wish to use to protect yourself from that. It's one sanity. Yeah. Yes. I still have double. No I I need an offering. I need an offering, or I lose. Yes. No, you don't lose. It's just. Well, that's a waste thing. This is okay. I have the bottom half of the teddy bear. But you're insane. No, you no, to, you I haven't spent that. You pay that as soon as you flip the first card. Is it? Even with a tantrum? Oh, so it's a tantrum? It's yeah, a that's tantrum. why I don't lose this. Sorry. So, I don't have to pay for the tantrum, Sorry, right? Sorry, I thought that was the <laughs> yeah. bottom half of the... Uh, no, I said I already have the bottom half. <clears throat> All cultists must discard either the top or the bottom card of the teddy of the daddy bear, or lose one sandy. If the cultist has a complete teddy bear offering on the table, they do not need to do anything. So I'm discarding my bottom half of the daddy bear. I'm discarding a sanity. And what are you doing? It's a single sanity. You might be worse later. On one sanity. You have only have two sanity. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I will point out something. You draw a card. You flip it. Mm -hmm. It's not a tantrum. You pay for it. You lose the game. Not necessarily. If you at, are, the end of a at the end of a turn, if you don't have it, I'm pretty sure. No, I believe that's... Double check that when you lose. Um, going insane. Also, oh, at the end of the turn, if you have no sanity. See, if he can make, if he can make an offering, yes. he's still in it. Although I wouldn't necessarily risk it. Yes, it's entirely up to you. Okay. So, it's either you, it's up to you. You either <clears throat> use you make a good point. Yeah. I forgot to use my ocular. <laughs> okay. So, I believe it's his Get turn. Seven. Get ready for Sandy. Bottom half of a drum. 
risk it. We'll risk it. I'm good. Now you make an offering? I will make an offering. Yeah, we can't refuse. It's not one that he really, really wants. So we just get two sanity. Just get two sanity as the bone blocks. Okay. And you put those on. You get two sanity. Taking the lead. Oh, no, no. Uh, not quite, but close. So. Even if you pay, you're still uh, tied with them. Well, I'm going to have to, um, I have to press my luck. No, you don't have to. I have to. Yes. Death right at bottom. I shall press my luck again. What does this one do? Um, in some kitchen in hell, this will really make him jump over the ropes. Five worth five foot. Play this card any time you wish to scare the toys out of other cultists' hands. All cultists or you, and we discard a card from their hand and place it on the discard pile. I will stop now. And I will play it. So, random. So, this one? Okay. So it's all cultists randomly discarded toys yes. from their hand. Nuh uh. Okay. Oh, that's cancels everyone or just you? Just that's you. just you. Oh. Yes. Darn. My turn? So. Or are you finished? Yes, I'm done. Basically, I made you play a card as opposed to discard a card. Yeah. Well, I don't pay for it. Again? Okay, all cultists take their entire hand and pass it to the cultists to their left. This is now your new hand. Okay. To my left. Okay. I don't pay for it. Oh, yay. And you have a nut uh, now. <laughs> yes, I do. Oh. I have something else. <laughs> oh, no, I don't. Oh. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah, I got that. Yeah. Are you finished? Uh, I got a yes. tantrum. Yeah. And I can't make it that. I thought I could, but I can't. No. Oh, that's the point. So. Flip. Let's see if you... Ready? Flip. <laughs> Flip. And you pay. Fire spitting devil doggy. If you want to scare someone, a devil dog will always do the trick. Play this card at the beginning of any cultist's turn to scare them into skipping their turn. If you want, you can use this on yourself and skip your turn. That's if you have one sanity left and it's like, you know what? I don't want to risk my sanity. When the other guy only has one sanity left too? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to risk it. Oh. Ring around the abyss. Little Cthulhu wants to play a game spinning around and around. All cultists take their entire hand and pass it to the cultist on their left. This is now your new hand. Don't <laughs> one card now. Oh, I feel bad for you. I really do. I... <laughs> it's your own. <hold. laughs> I know. <laughs> okay, so. Let's see. But do I feel bad? Nuh uh. I flip. That is a walking horse. You can pay. Yes. And I will pay and stop before I have two halves of the walking horse. Which isn't needed. Not one of the ones he needs, but it does give me two sanity. And if I have to pass my cards again, well, somebody's out of luck. Oh, uh, the Teddy Bear top. I gotta keep going, because otherwise I lose. Teddy Bear bottom! Teddy Bear bottom! Teddy Bear! Okay, I stop. I make the sack, I get three, and I get the uh, top, card. top card, and it's a tantrum, ignore it. so we ignore it. <laughs> I'm in the game again! <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Is there anything more fussy luck? <laughs> I, I can, no. The next card would have been tantrum. <laughs> <laughs> would have been hilarious. Yep. Yes. So are you done making offerings? Uh, yep. Hmm. Alright. Get the sanity ready. Hey, your sanity. Insanity. Realize that you have one just like that. Nope. Oh. I it's, thought you did. Right, I think he might have the top half, but... No, no, he doesn't. I don't remember what he has. I'm gonna risk it. I think I'll stop there. 
Top and bottom half. Nice. Start with the tattoo and just call me in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just cut that for you. Oh, a tantrum. I don't want to pay that one. Yay. Uh, you're taking too long. Look soon and starts to scream really, really loud. I can take two, um, Sanity Lost, and uh, draw a card without paying Sanity, discarding annoying tantrum cards, or everybody loses a Sanity. I think everybody lost a Sanity. That's fine. I, I still have Sanity I can play with now. Yes. Uh -huh. oh, I don't have to pay at least. Occultists must randomly discard one card from their hand and place it in the discard pile. I do. I'll pick one from you, you pick one from him. Nah, uh huh. I get to keep my handy. <laughs> Go player X. Go player X. Go player X. Ooh. Bone blocks. Bone block bottom. I'm gonna risk it. Look at the cute undead bony rabbit. He will really distract them. At the beginning of your turn, swap the entire hand with another cultist of your choice. Now their hand is your hand. Yeah, I think I'll stop here. You gonna play you swap the Shilton? That's swap. <laughs> oh, wait, it's not the beginning of your At the hand. beginning of your turn. Yes. Ah, yes. Unfortunately. Otherwise, you can swap with me. All right. I get ready to pay. You pay. I pay. I press my luck. I press my luck one last time. I have three cards that do not go together. I stop. Ready to pay. Tantrum! Ooh! Uh, offer, uh, once upon a time, Little Cthulhu loves the story about his dad. Oh look, it, this is his favorite part. All cultists must discard either the right or the left card of the Necronoma coloring book. Or lose one Sandy. The cultist has a completed Necronomic coloring book offering on the table. They do not need to pay anything. But I have half of a Necronomic coloring book. So I don't have to pay a Sandy. Nope, and you get to keep that one. I get to keep that one. Hi, Alex. I do not have a half of a Necronomic coloring yeah. book. Mm -hmm. So at the end of my turn, I'm out. Yes. Okay, go ahead and uh, get ready to pay for your Oh, you have nothing to pay with, so you can't draw that. Can you make an offering? That we that Cthulhu, Cthulhu can't refuse. No, you know, you must play pay if you can't pay you can't draw. So uh well, being your turn you can trade hands with someone. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Gee. Yeah. If you kept this one. But but you couldn't. No. So you're done? Not pay, so and you can't, pay, can't pay, can't now, play. All those bits that say this, that, this, or that, yeah, the insane person that. gets to make. And let's see if this is one of the ones you do. This says, so Do you pay though? Yes, I have to pay because this is a J Codis mask. Place this card. Okay, um, let's see. I am now done drawing cards. Play this card to search through the discard pile for any top or bottom of the toy card you uh, you want. Take that card and put it into your hand and discard this one. Yes. So I will play this card now. Yep. The same way I did, did before, only now... There's probably something useful. There is something useful <laughs> here. <laughs> okay. I, can put the I wish I had that not on a card. I wish I had that not on card. That would have been the best time to have that not on card. I played that. Now, I put these two down. Hey! Get he three. likes it. I get three sanity. 
I now have three sanity. And I take the top card. Oh, the top card, it wants to ride on his bed. But it's a tantrum card, so I ignore it. Let's see what's going to happen to me. Oh, same thing. Okay, little Cthulhu wants to ride on, this rock, on his rocking horse like a cowboy. I might discard the rocking horse. I do not have a rocking horse, so I lose the sanity anyways. Do you have a rocking horse? No, I do not. It is now your turn. It is now my turn. That's why I don't... Okay. So I get ready to pay. I flip a card. That is a building block. I stop. For I now have two halves of building blocks. I get two sanity back. And let's just see what it says. Uh, yep. They're discarded. I have two sanity back. And I'm done. You're done? You're yes. ready to pay. Ooh, got the blocks. You pay. Tantrum. Must randomly discard one card from their hand and place it into this card pile. Doesn't really matter because you want you won because I can't get. Uh... So I will. And Richard Shelton is a winner. Yes, with three sanity left and two offerings. Yeah. That was uh, Little Cthulhu. We will back in a moment. Give our opinions on it. Mm-hmm. We are back with our opinions on Little Cthulhu, and he thought that that was bad. Yes, um, it's a good stretch of luck game. A lot of luck's involved in getting the top and bottoms. Uh, getting the top and bottoms when you really need it. Getting the cards to help protect you from the tantrums when you really need it. And it's kind of hard to call it a stretch, uh, pressure luck game though. When the first card you turn over, oh, that was one card too many. I have to do- turn over one card, so I press my luck by turning over that one card and they out. That happens a lot in pressure luck ca- uh, card games. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a cute little pressure lock card game. It has a lot of, uh, it has variations on it, so you can play, there's more advanced, and then there's uh, variations where you can play with children. Mostly the variation where you play with children, you take out uh, everything except for the matching pairs, and you have, and the children have to try to match the pairs, and basically you can build, build it up, so... Yes, they only win by getting the three uh, pairs. And you take out all the black cards and the tantrum cards. Then you just add, as, it, as they get uh, more used to it, you can add in more cards, uh, yes. give more advanced rules. So, basically, prepare little gamers. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, like I said, it's a cute game, a cute pressure lock game. It's, uh, pretty t- it's a pretty typical pressure lock game. It's, if you like pressure lock games and you like Kazulu, you're probably going to like this. If you don't like pressure lock, if you don't like Kazulu, uh, I wouldn't really look into it. Now, something we didn't mention at the beginning of the game is uh, the odds. There are 60 uh, tops and bottoms of the, co- uh, of the toys. There are 30... This card does something when you play it, or you or somebody else, the black toys. Or, and there are 30 red um, tantrum cards. I still say, never, give me the, never tell me the odds. Yes, so you basically have a 1 in 4 chance of drawing one of the uh, tantrum cards. Which doesn't really mean anything because you shuffled, get through four of them in a row. You could get ten without any of them. And the fact that you have to have the sanity at the end of your turn, not the beginning, that was um, something I didn't notice in the rules until Mike pointed it out. Now, I uh, I like pressure lock games. I'm more of a dice pressure lock games than a card pressure lock games. But... As pressure lock games goes, it's not too bad. It's definitely better with more people. I played it with my wife once, and we didn't find all that interesting. It's not a very good two-player pressure lock game, I find. But if you get more people playing, I find it's a lot more entertaining. Because there can be three transforms before it's your turn again. So those three points of sanity you used to have, well, we wouldn't know anything about running out of all your sanity because some of your heads tantrums would be Player X. Player X is now shaking his head mournfully. Well, basic. Uh, we we kickstarted both Richard and I kickstarted this game without realizing the other one was kickstarting it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we both have copies of it. Yeah. Um, we never. Neither of us really got around to playing it. Basically, it's. I find it's more of a. It's more elementary. It's more of an elementary pressure lock game. Uh, there's more advanced ones out there. If you if you 
want to try if you want to start get into uh, pressure lock games and you like the Sulu, this is one to start out with. It gives you the basics of pressure lock without having too much without being very complicated. Yeah, I mean, it's basically just a simple card game where you draw the wrong card, you draw the wrong card. Oops. Like I said, I've seen there's a lot of pressure lock games where the, the, uh, that have more like mitigation stuff like that. There's more bands. There is an interesting mechanic in this one where throughout the game we were going, I'll either do this or do that for a lot of the tantrum cards. Where once we had an insane player, uh, that insane player would then decide which one, which option was taken. Not that it ever really came up in the game. No, it didn't. <laughs> But I think that's all really, really have to say. This it's a nice, cute little game. It's a it's a it's a simple little pressure lock game. Nice short one. It's a it's a nice little filler game. Yeah. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. We love getting comments. We really love getting them. And apparently the plus uh, thumbs up and thumbs down. Feel free to hit all the thumbs up if you want. Maybe be a bit uh, cautious on those thumbs down, but. Actually, at this point, any reaction is a good reaction. Well, we actually we're getting quite a quite a bit of positive uh, response, so well, that's good. Please, we're gonna we're gonna try to keep it up. You keep it up too, please. Yeah. And like I say, if you if you think we're doing something wrong, let us know. If you want to see us doing something different, let us know. Yeah. Uh, we're here to entertain you. Okay. Uh, but until next time, this is McCutton Board. Thank you for watching. Bye.